Hello everyone and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. According to our Emmerdale spoilers, a jealous Tom King devises a scheme to sour relations between wife Belle and her close friend Vinnie Dingle. This happens when their connection deepens and they become close through their dogs. Tom has become increasingly domineering toward his wife Belle in recent weeks. He's been using Belle's phone to install tracker apps since they were married. Along with causing property damage and crushing Lisa's ashes, he has also given her severe mood swings and outbursts of wrath. To keep his wife under control, Tom bought Puppy Piper as a gift for Belle. However, controlling Tom isn't pleased with what he sees as dog owners, Belle and Vinny spend an increasing amount of time together. In his quest to prevent Vinny and Belle from dating, how far will he go? When Tom notices Belle spending more time with Vinny and the dogs, he becomes agitated. Later, kind Vinny volunteers to watch Piper when Belle gets called into work suddenly. But when Vinny informs Belle that Piper has vanished while he was watching over him, Belle becomes upset. Seeing an opening in the mayhem, Tom steps in to act as the cool-headed rescuer, causing friction between the two. Will he be able to push Belle and Vinny even more apart, and does he know more about Piper's disappearance than he is disclosing? According to our Emmerdale spoilers, Rona Goskirk loses control of her emotions during her court appearance, and the jury will decide how to proceed with the kidnapping allegations. This happens after Rona abducted baby Ivy and tried to leave the nation with the child. Rona eventually made the right decision and gave the child back to her father, Gus, but she is now paying for her crimes. Will Rona's emotional outburst in court, though, make things worse for her? Marlon finds it difficult to focus on anything but Rona's trial as the big day approaches. Rona looks on in horror as Gus starts to fabricate the story as they make their way to court. Rona's defense retaliates by casting doubt on Gus's morality. Rona is hoping that when Vanessa speaks out, everything will work out better for her. But will Vanessa fall victim to the harsh interrogation tactics used by the prosecution? When the Woolpack neighbors start chatting about Rona's situation, Patty tries to divert April's attention at home, but is unsuccessful. Rona returns to the witness stand. Rona loses her passion and lashes out at Gus as the prosecution questions her character. Later, after the judge ends the day's proceedings, Rona laments her lack of poise. Meanwhile, back at the Woolpack, the argument rages on. April fears that the jury will be even less sympathetic now that even Rona's friends are doubting her behavior. The following day, Gus's seeming defeat is a source of unsettled Rona. Rona waits to see how the jury will decide her destiny. What verdict will the jury reach? According to our Emmerdale spoilers, Caleb Milligan becomes unexpectedly and brutally unwell and is forced to seek out his nephew Nate Robinson for assistance. But would Nate support his uncle in Caleb's hour of need? given that he is still enraged with Caleb for having an affair with Tracy? See our complete Emmerdale spoilers for this plot below. Kane tells Ruby to leave the Dingles alone after learning of her scheme to win the family over by giving them everyone air fryers. He rejects her attempts at apology, saying they are unbuoyable. Later, Lydia makes an effort to allay Ruby's worries. At that moment, Kane barges in and seizes Sam's air fryer from the countertop. With a sledgehammer, Kane smashes all three air fryers to pieces, shocking Sam, Ruby, and Lydia in the process. Is Ruby able to win the Dingles and Kane over? Chas reluctantly agrees to assist Ruby while they devise a scheme to win Kane over. The Dingles go up for an unplanned get together that Ruby and Chas had arranged which also includes Caleb. Ruby and Caleb conversing on Emmerdale, Ruby succeeds in winning Caleb back, source, ITV. When Kane realizes what's happening, he becomes enraged with Ruby for lying. 
He and Caleb have a rough beginning, but just as things seem to be improving, inebriated Ruby spoils the moment by starting a karaoke session. She lashes out for Caleb's forgiveness, and he jumps to her defense, sending the wool pack into disarray. Nate observes as Caleb lies hunched over in agony. Caleb is in pain when Sam and Nate locate him. Credit, ITV. Caleb is found by Nate in a state. When Nate and Sam discover Caleb outside the following day, seemingly in excruciating pain, they are taken aback. Caleb begs his nephew for assistance. Will Nate stick with his hurt uncle, or will his resentment of him win out? And what specific issue does Caleb have? David has no intention of going back to Emmerdale, and we can understand why. This is a list of every scandal that followed him and his alter identity. Matthew Wolfenden. He's persevered through cancer battles, unexpected pregnancies, and broken marriages. David Metcalf, the Emmerdale serial monogamist, was never seen without a stunning woman at his side. During his tenure in the Dales, Matthew Wolfenden, the alter ego, was also married to a co-star. What happened to David? As the drama confirmed he is never coming back following a heated call to Eric. And why, exactly, did Matthew Wolfenden leave the soap opera last year? David arrived at the area in search of Eric Pollard, his estranged father. Before David was even born, Eric had stolen a sizable amount of money from his mother. Eric wasn't pleased to finally learn that David was his son. He even conducted a covert DNA test that unintentionally demonstrated David's paternity. But gradually, the two realized they were father and son, and they started mending fences. Though David's relationships with Delilah Dingle, Katie Sugden, and Jasmine Thomas were severely hampered by Eric's propensity for deceiving and controlling the locals. Along with Nicola King, who later changed her name to Nicola D'Souza, David had a turbulent relationship marked by cheating on each other. They would both prefer to forget this one, and it appears they have as they seldom ever talk to one another anymore. David developed feelings for the spunky Leela Harding, an employee at Eric's workplace. Before Leila disclosed that she had a secret son named Jacob Gallagher, the two were starting a new life together. Alicia, Leela's sister, was bringing up Jacob. The couple nearly divorced after learning that Jacob's father was Leela's brother-in-law, especially after David learned this. I apologize. When Leila abandoned heartbroken David the night before their wedding, Carrying her wedding gown and a mountain of debt, Alicia arrived in the village and stayed. David and Alicia became close. They were married when Alicia was sentenced to prison in order for Jacob to live with David. But David fell head over heels in love with Preya Sharma while Alicia was inside. Backslash Alicia was shot when the villainous Cameron Murray kidnapped patrons from the Woolpack. David ended his romance with Preya to be with Alicia after realizing he loved her. Priya found out she was expecting David's child. However, it had no effect on Alicia and David's marriage. On their wedding day, Leela returned to the village, but it didn't stop them from going ahead as planned. Amba is the name of the newborn girl Priya gave birth to. After Alicia was beaten by Lachlan White and expressed a desire to leave the village, she and David eventually parted ways. David convinced his father to visit a doctor in 2016 due to several health issues that David was concerned about. Eric would only consent if David also went. Eric received the all-clear, but testicular cancer was identified in David. Jacob helped David through his medical treatment, strengthening the bond between the father and son. Tracy Shankly, with whom David was now married, provided him with further support. David and Maya Stepney. Following the dissolution of his marriage to Tracy, David began dating Jacob's instructor, Maya Stepney. Perfect on paper, David was unaware that Maya was forming an unofficial relationship with the teenager Jacob and grooming him. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.